Hi, I'm Lori Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program. And my viewers, I have a challenge for you today to watch all the way through to the end of this video because I'm doing something I have never done. And that is I'm going on a bit of a rant. So I would appreciate you humoring me through my rant and hopefully you will learn something. I just did a survey of my audience and I received over 650 responses. I read every single one of them and through the survey I received a lot of questions and comments about my relationship with Goodwill. So to start with a disclaimer, my opinion is the only thing being shared here today. Goodwill has no idea that I'm filming this video. They have certainly not asked me to do it. They certainly haven't told me what to say. This is my opinion, my experiences that I'm sharing with you. As of the filming of this video, I have served for five years in the role of spokesperson for Goodwill and I do not get paid. I am serving pro bono as a spokesperson because I believe in the mission of connecting people to work. And it's a match made in heaven. I talk about organizing closets all the time and I get to tell people why Goodwill is a smart and responsible choice for taking their donatable items so that they can help their community and their planet and you know everybody wins. So this is a huge pleasure in my life and it's something I enjoy doing. Um, a lot of people have in this role been pointing things out to me about Goodwill, asking me questions about Goodwill. Certainly this was borne out in the survey. One of the things that comes up a lot is people asking me if I have special clothing saved out for me from Goodwill stores for me to wear in my videos. I do wear Goodwill clothing in every video and I want you to know that I shop anonymously in my local Goodwill having my own thrift store experience. I pay for the clothes with my own money. I find them myself. Nobody has any idea that I have been in the store or anything like that. So no, nobody dresses me for the videos or make sure that I have special designer things. I guess I'm just good at picking out things in my local Goodwill, but I'm really proud of that. So I want you to know that. Uh, secondly, I do get this a lot and I've printed it out here, but mostly this is circulated on the internet. It's called Think Before You Donate and there are other things like it. This one mentions Goodwill. It also mentions United Way, March of Dimes, Red Cross, and UNICEF. Um, it's stamped with a false across it because it is patently false. Um, this mentions that the CEO of Goodwill, and they say and owner, which is not accurate, um, is someone named Mark and that it is a for-profit business and that is absolutely false. So over these five years, I have been privileged to get to know the leadership at Goodwill, including the top leadership and the CEO of Goodwill is a friend of mine at this point. His name is Jim Gibbons, not Mark something. Here's a picture of us together here on the screen. He is the first blind graduate of Harvard Business School. He's inspired many people running this international organization with a disability. And that's great because we serve people with disabilities. So I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate Jim and all the leaders. So I really don't like it when I see this thing passed around. There is a way to check this out. I'm putting the URL on the screen for you. Uh, please do check this out before you post anything like this in social media. You're not only doing a disservice to the charities that are mentioned here that are being spread falsehoods about, but you also are doing a disservice to the people who are reading your post who are learning something that isn't true. So please check that out. Also, I hear about people's individual bad experiences with Goodwills of various types. You know, I would like to point out that if you've ever gone to Target or Walmart or any other large chain store, for example, if you've had a bad experience with one cashier or one service person in those stores, does that mean that the entire company is a bad company? Of course not. If one Target store or one dollar store or one any kind of store closes, does that mean that the entire organization is a bad organization? Of course not. There are always going to be the one, you know, the one person, the one store, the one experience, the one 
person that had a bad day or whatever that happens. There are, as of this filming, I believe 164 different Goodwill member agencies around North America, meaning that your local Goodwill may vary. So if you do not have a good experience, I apologize for that, but there's just going to be some of that in any kind of organization. So um, I stand by Goodwill with all my heart. Um, I appreciate you sharing that with me. Um, I do want to point out that uh, through the time I've been working with Goodwill that the percentage has varied from about 82 to 84 percent. I believe currently it is 84 uh, percent of the revenue directly goes to the mission of helping people find work. So I would like to challenge you to ask the charity that you're going to donate to what percentage of the revenue goes directly to their mission. Hopefully they can provide you with that information, but that's a number that I am very proud to stand behind. Uh, also, I want to point out that I'm aware that there are challenges and controversies around employing people with disabilities, and there are varied opinions about that. I have formed my own opinion about that. That makes me very comfortable to serve Goodwill as a spokesperson. I have visited dozens of Goodwills around the country. I've met the leaders. I have met the program participants. I have met the supervisors of the program participants, and I have met the families that are involved in some cases, and I'm very happy with what I see. I see a lot of happy people and a lot of really good situations so thank you for sharing your opinions with me I will continue to comment on those if I need to but hopefully this video has helped a little bit I really appreciate you listening all the way to the end to my rant and I appreciate your support of Goodwill please donate and shop and I hope that you will find this a lot more uh, helpful than some of the things you find out on the internet <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough.